Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys. And today I'll be showing you how to download the registration list of your Zoom meetings. So yeah guys, make sure to watch this quick and easy video till the very end and follow my steps correctly. So you can make sure this works the same for you and that you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. The first thing you want to do guys is after you have finished your meetings where you want to download the registration list, you want to go ahead and open up Google or any other Internet Explorer and go to the official Zoom's website. You want to go ahead and type in zoom.us in the search bar or on Google and this will bring you to the official site. Right here guys, you'll be greeted by this main page right here where you can either sign up for free if you do not already have an account, but since you already had a meeting, then you want to go ahead and log in in the upper right corner because to your account that you used for the meetings. So guys, after logging in, then you'll be greeted by this button in the upper right corner right here that says my account. You want to go ahead and click this option right here guys. After clicking on this, this will bring you to the new page where you can use to edit either your Zoom account or to see your info about your account and so on. So guys, if you look at the left side of the screen, there are multiple options that you can use such as home, profile, meetings and so on. What we want to do guys is scroll down and find this option right here called account management. Go ahead guys and click on account management. And now this will open up three new options called account profile, billing and reports. You want to go ahead guys and click the reports button. And now guys, after clicking on reports, this will bring you to this new page where you can see either usage reports or user activity reports. The option you will be looking for is in user activity reports. But guys, you will need to upgrade to the premium plan because I'm currently on a basic plan and if you are on a basic plan, you do not have the option to see the reports. So you want to go ahead and upgrade your profile and after that, come back here into the reports and here you will be able to see all the reports that you need. So yeah guys, that's how you do it, I hope this video was helpful, if it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. So yeah guys, thank you for watching, take care and bye.